Hello there, YouTube. I am Necrostevo. Today's story will be from Best of Redditor Updates. It was originally posted by user Definistrate underscore me underscore now in the Reddit thread Tifu. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoy the video. And if you have any stories you would like for me to narrate, feel free to link those down below. Last night, my wife's boss from her brand new job invited us over for dinner. On the drive over, my wife reiterated many times to me just how important it was to make a good impression. I scoffed and arrogantly informed my silly wife that I always make a good impression. My wife's boss was a single lady in her 50s, so it was just the three of us. We chit-chatted over drinks and salads and seemed to be really hitting it off. She laughed at my well-timed, perfectly appropriate jokes, and my wife seemed pleased. Soon she brought out the main course, a nice, big, juicy steak for each of us. As I began to cut into my steak, I was discouraged to discover how undercooked the steak was. Now, I've had my fair share of rare steak. I prefer medium, but I can handle rare. This was several minutes on a hot grill short of rare. I probably could have resuscitated the cow had I tried. Instead, I sat there, fidgeting with my knife and fork, worrying about how I was going to get away with not eating this steak. Claim veganism? No, I'd already feigned great enthusiasm upon seeing the steak. Just then, our hostess excused herself to the kitchen to take care of some dessert preparations. As I looked across the fancy dining room table at the open window of this third story apartment, a cartoon light bulb appeared over my head. I knew I had to be decisive, realizing that she could return any moment. I committed. I grabbed the steak with my hand, gently shook off the juice, and executed a perfect throw right through the center of the open window. Here's the one big time FU. The window wasn't open. It was the cleanest freaking window you've ever seen in your life. That is until my mostly raw slab of steak slammed against it and slowly slid down, leaving a trail of bloody juice in its wake. My wife, whose steak was a nice medium rare and was unaware of my predicament, turned jaw dropped and stared at me like I was an alien from another planet. This look then slowly morphed into more of a there is no place on this planet you can ever hide from me expression of demonic anger. My wife's boss heard the thud of the stake on window impact and came back quickly. She took in the scene, the stake sitting on the windowsill, the blood trail, my empty plate, and then gave me an inquisitive, puzzled look. <sighs> I just didn't know what to say. <laughs> Felt like a minute of silence, but it was probably three or four seconds. Finally, the best I could manage was, I I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm such a klutz. I don't know. I was cutting it and it slipped. Just ask my wife. I really am a klutz. Right, honey? No help coming from that direction. I will clean this up. I can't believe this. I am so sorry, etc., etc. Both women continued to stare at me like I had escaped from the loony bin as I smeared the blood around the window with my cloth napkin, dusted off the stake, and continued to mutter my incoherent explanation. I knew no one was buying the story. I knew what I had to do. I sheepishly returned to my seat and proceeded to eat every bite of that disgusting, cold, chewy, bloody, raw steak. I remained pretty quiet the rest of the evening. My wife's only two words to me since the incident are, I'm fine. Update. I just got the first post, I'm fine communication from my wife via text who is at work. Good news, the boss's name and I just had a good laugh over how much of an idiot you are. I hope you will never live this down. I love you, you moron. Two years later, 
My husband told this Tifu from his perspective a couple years ago, and it was a popular post. Someone suggested I should tell it from my perspective, and I hope our discomfort brings a little joy to you fine Redditors. I had just gotten a brand new job that I was really excited about, so I was delighted when my boss, who I had been trying to establish a rapport with, invited me and my husband to her home for dinner. Well, mostly delighted. My husband is... Well, he's the sweetest, but he has a history of doing really dumb shit. Because of this, I was worried about him coming along. By the time the day of dinner arrived, I had become so anxious about it that I had actually floated the idea by my boss that I wasn't sure if he would be able to make it. She was clearly taken aback and responded, Oh no, I really hope he can. I have a dinner for three all ready to go. Upon seeing her dismay, I assured her that I was sure he would find a way to be there. Well, we made it over to the apartment on time and things actually started off really, really well. It was just the three of us, which surprised me somewhat, but it made me a little less concerned about my husband as crowds really tend to bring out his unpredictability. I had just started to finally relax and was a couple bites into a deliciously cooked steak when things took a horrible, horrible turn. My boss had just stepped into the kitchen to check on dessert when I noticed something odd out of the corner of my eye. It was one of those things where, you know something strange is happening over in your peripheral, but you're not sure of what, and you have to look over and focus your gaze to really comprehend it. I looked over at my husband to see him holding his stick in his hand and hovering it just an inch or two above his plate. Before I had a chance to fully comprehend what I was seeing and verbalize something that might have saved us all from this incoming horror, he threw his steak, baseball style, across the room, straight into the dining room window. It hit the window, making a loud noise, and slowly slid down. Now, my husband does dumb stuff. I already told you that. But he's not a crazy person. Usually when he does dumb stuff, I at least understand what he's thinking. Usually there's some semblance of rhyme or reason to the dumb stuff. In this case, I was just dumbfounded. I couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't wrap my head around what was going on. I stared at him with what have must have been the most confused look, and I watched as he stared back at me, an expression of utter horror painted across his face. I couldn't make any sense of what was happening but I also didn't have time to try. I heard the footsteps of my boss coming to see what the sound was. It suddenly sunk in that it didn't matter why he did what he did. He did it, and we were about to come face to face with a very awkward situation. I could feel the anger flush through my face. For a brief moment, I contemplated trying to help my husband get out of this, but no. This was his dumb stuff bed and he could lie in it. Not like there was any possible recovery anyway. My boss walks in and sees the steak lying on the windowsill. There's the longest, most awkward pause where we just all sit there frozen. My boss and I were staring at my husband, forcing the ball into his court, as the cringe just hangs in the air like an ocean fog. He finally manages to mutter some incoherent garbage about being a klutz and even tries to get me to back him up, and I leave his butt out to dry in the deafening silence. He makes a poor attempt at cleaning the window and retrieves a steak. Mercifully, my boss asks me a question about work, and we both dive eagerly into the conversation. We all resume the rest of the evening pretending that he isn't there, a sort of unspoken agreement that all of this is the only way to move forward. As soon as we get to the car, my husband turned into a nervous chatterbox trying to explain himself. Turns out this dumb guy didn't like the way his steak was cooked, rare, and, get this, he thought the window was open. My husband, ladies and gentlemen, tried to chuck a steak out of a three-story window. He thought that was a reasonable solution to being served an undercooked steak. A year or so later, my boss hosted a Christmas party for the company at her newly built home. My best friend was my plus one.